So TCP is pretty cool with the different mechanisms that it uses to keep track of all the sequencing and acknowledgements. But there's also another aspect of this that's really cool and that's the congestion and flow control that TCP has it in it. This is not meant to be a real in-depth look at congestion and flow control. There's actually a lot to this and a lot of thing, routes that we could go down and explain, but this is a fundamentals course. So we're gonna look at the top layer view of this. We're gonna take a look at congestion control and some mechanisms for congestion control and same thing with flow control, something called windowing. So we're going to take a look at these aspects of this and take a look at TCP and how it deals with things like congestion and uh, when buffers get full and when there's problems that happen on the network and on the machines. So TCP has some great things in it that can help make this, this communication happen very efficiently and make sure that things are streaming at optimized levels. And so there's times when there's a lot of traffic that can go through and you can pump that traffic through and other times when there's congestion on the network or there's, there's other problems on the network where things that if you were to just shove more traffic down there would cause worse problems. Similar to like rush hour traffic where rush hour traffic could be flowing pretty well, pretty smoothly until something happens or there's extra cars that get added to it and at some point in time there's a tripping point and once it hits that tripping point it's really hard to recover from that especially if more and more cars are getting onto the freeways and so it's the same thing with this network traffic is that it can flow really well and really smoothly but if it hits a certain point where it's just over congested and then there's other stuff that's being crammed down it, down this pipeline that can cause problems. So TCP has a mechanism to help back things off, to help control that. So in this example, like right here, if without congestion control, what we'd have is that this PC right here would be sending data to the server and it would just try to stream as fast as it could. And if this device is too slow, then that's data, those packets are going to get stacked up and it's going to start losing packets and then there's going to be resending and that resending is going to cause more traffic on there and just compound the issue. So there's several things that, you know, within TCP that can help mitigate this. For one, just acknowledgements. Acknowledgements will help alleviate this problem because you wouldn't have all of this information that's getting bogged down if every few segments or every so many segments, a, an acknowledgement is sent back. And so what the acknowledgements do is as it's sending data over, it will pause and wait for acknowledgement. And that acknowledgement will say, go ahead and send more, or retransmit these, this data. And so acknowledgements really help starting to shape this traffic to make sure that we're not getting too much data on any one of these lines. And so uh, TCP has these acknowledgements that help alleviate this issue. When we took a look at the TCP header, we also saw this window size. And so this window size is another mechanism that can help communicate between two devices to say, slow down, I need a little less data. And so this is a mechanism that certain devices can send information into this windowing field right here to let the other side know that this is how much data I'm willing to accept. So in this example right here, let's say that this device right here has a certain amount of capacity to process data. And if you once again overwhelm this resource, then it's going to slow down even more. And so we don't wanna overwhelm these resources. So that windowing field has a capability. When it sends an acknowledgement, it will tell this other PC how much this device, this web server is willing to handle. How much, how much this PC can send to this computer uh, during any given time. And so then this device will try to fill that up. And what, what they will do is it will send data to try to maximize that speed. And then every once in a while, the, this machine will send an acknowledgement to, re to acknowledge, yes, I've received this data and this is my next set of data that, I can, that I'm willing to accept that I can handle that you can send my way. Now, what will happen is that this 
computer will every once in a while send those acknowledgements. If it's getting overwhelmed, then those window sizes become pretty small. And if it becomes unresponsive, then possibly this machine that will, will check into this machine and just send, hey, are, are you still accepting? Are you ready for, for more information? And so this communication can still happen. And so TCP has that mechanism to allow this communication to happen and allow things to slow down until the time is right to send more data. Of course, I have to uh, put this in here about silly window syndrome, silly window syndrome. So the silly window sim syndrome is when this web server right here continues to broadcast window sizes that are really small so much that at that point in time it's pretty ridiculous to even try to communicate with it because those window sizes are so so small so the silly window syndrome will happen and uh, really i don't know that you need to know too much about that except for it's kind of a fun name and i thought i'd throw it in there just for fun so there we we talked a little bit about congestion control and how acknowledgements help the flow of it and stop congestion just by there's pauses that happen for those acknowledgements. We have also talked about flow control and how we have some windowing that can happen so a machine can tell the other side, hey, slow down, this is a little too much information. And so it slows the process of sending that data over to it. I hope these videos are really helping you out. If they are, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button.